Mikey, we're into the, the second week of pre-season training here in South Wales. How have you found it since you've been down? It's been good. It's been, uh, it's been tough training. Obviously getting used to the way the manager wants to work and stuff has been, it's been good and, and a bit different. So it's been a, yeah, it's been a great, great week. Obviously got a, a run out of the weekend against Charlton Athletic. And I, you know, I've said to the other guys, it's, I suppose it's just all about getting that game time in your legs ahead of the competitive football. Yeah, obviously I've missed a lot of game time recently, so it's good to get the games back into, into the legs again and, and just get fitness, that's what pre-season's for. Is that one of the things that you, you know, you're you learning as a footballer? Obviously there's all the stuff on the pitch, but just that frustration that you had last season when you would obviously want to play, but you're not able to. Yeah, I mean I had a, a lot of pain last year, trying to get through the year. Um, it was obviously a year that everyone wanted to be involved in, and it didn't turn out the way everyone wanted, but um, it's hugely disappointing. Uh, but as I say, I've got to, just got to pick myself back up from where I was last year and, and try and get going again. And the first competitive game is coming around pretty quickly, just over a week until we're playing in our Champions League qualifier. Massive game for us. Yep, playing in Europe is what everyone wants, so the fans want us to be in Europe this year. And, and uh, it could be a big bonus if we, if we make the Champions League, and that's what we all want to do. You mentioned the fans there, and obviously we're all keeping our fingers crossed that when we get back to Celtic Park, we're going to see supporters in the stadium. That'll make a massive difference. Yeah, I mean, last year it was a, a huge miss not having the fans. Like no one can deny it. Was was probably worse for us not having fans uh, compared to anyone else. So this year it'll be a huge lift just to get everyone back in the stadium again and, and get a bit of normality again. Because I'm guessing as, as a footballer, is that something that you thrive on when you're playing in front of fans and you, it just gives you that wee extra lift? Sometimes? Definitely, definitely. I think uh, as a winger, especially if, if you're beating someone and it gives the fans a lift, it gives you confidence and. And they can give the team confidence as well. We've seen in pre-season, you know, quite a few of the young guys from the academy coming down and doing well at training and also in the games. Do you kind of see, you know, they're at a stage behind you. They're then looking ahead to see where you are now and wanting to be there. Definitely, uh, all the academy boys have been great since they've came in. They've all showed great attitudes, uh, and that's all you want from from a young player. You have to come up and work hard and and try and show that you're a good player and that you can compete with the first team as well. Is that a strange feeling for you? Because you're still a young guy, but you're like maybe one of their role models now and they're maybe looking up to you. Yeah, maybe it's a strange feeling, but I mean, I, I had a lot of help coming through and, and people took to me right away and, and helped me coming through as well. So I need to try and do the same for the, the younger boys that are coming up and maybe have seen me go through the, the exact same journey that, that they've been through. And we've got two two more friendlies before we play Midtjylland. We've got Bristol City on Wednesday night and then Preston. Again, I guess you'll just be looking to get involved as much as you can. Yeah, definitely. I want I want to get more game time and, and get more fitness under my belt. As I say, I've missed a lot of game time, so that's a perfect opportunity for me to, to get back going again.